You know, folks, you, you know, last year when it was announced, that Walt Disney Pictures, along with Marvel or Marvel or whatever that company's name is, were going to distribute a Rescue Ranger, a Chippendale Rescue Ranger live action film. A lot of us were happy about it. Now, apparently, more information had come out throughout the past year and into this year as the fact it's going to be an origin story. Basically, obviously, it's going to be not well I don't know if it's going to be similar but it's going to be basically how the team came together now will they change things up of how they came to be together probably I, I don't think there's any doubt about that I mean as long as they true, stay true to the essence of what made the show what it is made the franchise what it is uh, I don't think they'll have much of a problem with it I don't think they will um, But, you know, when it comes to when it might be released, that's a question that a lot of people have. Now, we know that throughout the year, that the, uh, throughout the upcoming years, that a lot of movies from Disney itself and those associated with Disney, either through partnerships, ownerships, 50-50s, whatever, are going to be released in a, a ton of movies. We know Disney has uh, the next princess movie, Mohana, I think that's her name. Or Mohana or something, or Mona or whatever, Mohana. Uh, with The Rock as one of the voice actors, Dwayne Johnson that is, uh, coming out within the next year. We know within the next year or so, whenever. We know that Zootopia is next year. We know that Toy Story 4 is in the works. We know that um, the, star, the Star Wars is on the verge of getting a resurgence, not just with Force Awakens, but with these anthology films as well, like Rogue One. We know that their Marvel Cinematic Universe that they're letting Marvel do is a big time deal. We know they got all these other movies in stock and in store. They already have essentially um, dates and everything set up for when these movies are going to hopefully be released. Planned dates. Hopefully these are locked in down the line. So when one looks at this and the fact that you've got the sequel to Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, the remake, called Alice Through the Looking Glass, you've got Yeah, with my dog. You've got Tim Burton working on a Dumbo remake with some of the people that worked on Transformers. You know, you got all these different movies being set and locked in to up, come out in the next few, next three to four or five years. So the question is, where does Rescue Rangers fit in? Now, we haven't really heard much about it in a while, but people are still talking about it, saying that Basically, they're still talking about it, talking about it because it's still slated, it's still on the list of movies that Disney is working on. Now, obviously, because nobody's really talking about it right now, it's probably due to the fact that it's an early production, early pre-production. What that means is the script is probably being finalized, looked at and finalized, and then after that's all said and done, I would assume that at least by 2016, maybe the end of this year, will get some kind of information stating exactly uh, or giving us an idea of exactly not only what the movie from an origin standpoint would be like but also kind of get an idea of exactly the release date like maybe by 2016 maybe by the end of this year into 2016 we'll get a proper release date of like what month, day, and year I would assume, assume, and I know I'm saying that a lot, it's going to be by the end of this year or more throughout next year. I would say, most likely, as we get towards Zootopia, we might get a better understanding of exactly where, where we, of what we're going to be getting uh, with the Rescue Ranger movie.
Now, with that said, here's my here's a question that a lot of people w wonder because they, they you know there's a chance, like I mentioned, that they are going to try to switch things up. They are going to try try to uh, change things a little bit to kind of make to kind of refresh the origin story, if you will, and, and make it more modern, if not more. Uh, well, more modern in a sense, but make, kind of refresh it to the point that you'll still have that true essence, but it's, it'll be something that fits in today's world. Like, what would happen if the Rescue Ranger cartoon series had come out at this time frame? How would they treat it as an origin story? How would the origin story go? Who would they meet first? What would happen as the end result? What would be the case that would bring them together? Now, one would assume that if you're doing... Now, one would think if they're doing an origin reboot with this movie, that they would have to do maybe a story, uh, make their first case, if you will, very similar to the case in the original cartoon. You would think that. You would think that, and I believe that that's a, a great option for them. And I'm sure they've tried to, I'm, I'm sure they've thought about that. But, then again, there's other situations as well. Like exactly what kind of other uh, scenarios, cases, adventures could they come, come across that would bring them together as a team? And who would be the main villain? Would you create someone new? Or would you keep the Aldrin Cl Clardane vi villain? Or would you make Nimdol the first villain? And if the movie's a success and you decide to do a series of movies, go through the rogues gallery that they have, then like go to Fat Cat next, and then go to a, a Rat Capone next, or someone new. You know, what, 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 would, what direction would you go with? That would be my question. That would be my, my question exactly. You know, where would they go uh, from here? Who would be the first villain? Would it be Clardane? Would it be Nimnol? Would it be the same kind of scenario we had in the original pilot? You know, these are questions that you wonder exactly where they're going with. Me, I look at it this way. Recreating, or at least trying to, I guess you could say, re retcon or reboot, recreate the original origin story, that's a good choice. That would be a great choice. At least in my opinion, because it's simplified, you're, you pretty much know what the plot is right off the bat, and you can go from there. Now, could they, again, could they switch it up and make it a bigger, more, uh, more epic kind of a, a story? Hold on for a sec. Uh. Just playing with my dog right now, just trying to keep her busy because she's going to the door. Every time I do a video, she likes to go that way, I guess, because she's afraid of the tripod, I don't know. But anyway, but anyway, you know, would they switch it up? Would, would they switch the origin up and make, and make the first case something more epic, more adventurous? Something that you'll walk out of the theater after the movie's over and say, wow, I, I have to go back and see this again because I, I could, because of, be, it's like, you know, is it, you know, is it something that's going to make you feel that way? That you have to go back and see it again because maybe you missed something. It's that big. Would they do that? That is the question. Or, again, would they leave it sort of simplified and kind of retcon the original uh, plot line, the original origin? To me, it could work either way. I also look at the fact that the comic books themselves, most recently as well, the Boom Studio ones, really lend themselves to stories that you could adapt into an origin in some way. You could. So, to me, the, the, to, to me, the, 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 the field, to me, the doors are open. The field is wide open. The doors are wide open for them to go in any direction they can with the origin story. Again, they can stay true to the original, keep it simplified, or they can do make it bigger and more epic. Who knows? 
you know, the, the original was more city-based, you know, nobody knew what was going on, pretty much the human character knew exactly who was behind the whole situation. Will you be able to do that again? Because you see, I understand, I understand some people, heck, even Andre Meadows of Black Moon Comedy last year when, when the news broke about this movie happening, you know, when, when he did a video, he basically stated that if they're going to do this movie, do not, you know, do not focus on some kind of human kid character knowing who the Rangers are, or some kind of human figure knowing who the Rangers are. You know, focus mainly on the Rangers. So, could they do that, in a sense, it's, but still stay true to the original origin? I think they can. But, to me, you cannot do a retcon of that origin story. Hold on for a second. I'm going to tell my dog what it out. She obviously hears the kids getting out of school. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, could you do that? Could they do that? Absolutely. But because the Drake character, the Donald Drake character, was such an integral part of that miniseries, along with his dog Plato, you have to put some focus there as well. You have to balance it out. So in a sense, you can kind of be like counterculture in a way to where you see it from his perspective, but you also see it from their perspective. So, you know, so to me, I think that could work. But again, if you want to make it bigger and more epic, you could do it on a world scale, on a world level scale. Like something's happening, could be Nimnol, could be Clardane, doesn't, maybe a new villain entirely. And this time, you could probably take the same kind of scenario they used in the pilot, but this time, have it threaten the whole world instead of just a city. I think that would be a, a great way to kind of retool, reboot, or you know, kind of retcon the origin in a sense, to where you have that similarity, you have that familiar feel of the original origin still intact, but now it's on a bigger, wider, more epic scale. Now there is now. There's, uh, now there are other questions, there are other questions that fans have as well. And I even have these questions. And these questions are basically, will this origin, retelling of the origin, because like I said, we know there's going to be some changes, let's not deny that. Will this do something that the series had failed to do? It hinted at it, it teased it, but yet they never officially made anything about it. Will this, or, will this movie, this retelling of the origin, do something that this, the series never really did? And that's give us a romantic subplot for the team. Will it finally pair Gadget with one of the chipmunks? Will it pair Gadget with Chip? Will it pair Gadget with Dale? You see... That is a big question that I think a lot of people would want answered. Will they finally do that, or will they stay true to the fact that she knows about their attraction to her, but she only acts, and this is the way I look at it, even with the series, she only acts like she has no clue what's going on, but she does. If you watch the entire series, she does know what's going on. She just at times doesn't acknowledge it because I don't think she really likes the fact that you have the two male characters that are about the same age as she is on the team fighting over her instead of focusing on trying to find cases or focusing on how to improve the team and stuff. So, But to me, that's something that I think Disney's going to probably do. The writer behind this, the people behind this, I think that's what they're planning to do. They're planning probably, in my opinion, to maybe answer that question. And again, we're either going to have it stay true to, okay, she knows, but, you know, she's just going to leave it at that, like she understands it, she knows there's an attraction, she's not going to choose. Or, they're going to finally do that, they're going to finally answer that question of who would she have chosen in the series. Because, here's my thing, 
When I heard, in fact, I knew, even as a kid, they were going to do a movie. When DuckTales the movie came out, I said Rescue Rangers has got to be next. Because if they were going in order of Disney Afternoon shows debuting, Rescue Rangers no doubt was next. And this is further uh, evident in a comic scene magazine back in 1990 indicating that there was a 1991 release planned for a Rescue Ranger movie. So to me, it always made me wonder if that, if that movie had been made and released back in 1991, would it have answered that question? In, to this day, we'll never know. Unless somebody has the freaking script for that movie leaked out. Unless that script somehow gets leaked out. answer that question because I believe had the movie been released in 1991 we would have gotten that question answered. The only way we'll ever find out is if the script for the original film that would be released in 91 gets found or leaked online or shared online somehow. That would be the only way we'd find out the truth. In, you know you have a lot of fans in fan fiction that are pretty much in their own minds indicated who were ready, she would have chose. And, you know, it, it looks like to me, you know, it looks, it looks like to me, it's kind of 50-50. If you read Of Mice and Mayhem by Chris Fisher, that kind of gives you an indication of what he believes, who he believes she would have went with. But then again, there are other people out there that have had artwork done, stories done, that indicates she would have been with somebody else. You know, so, again, the question is, still, that question, obviously, you would hope maybe they're going to answer. Because one of the changes they could do is actually have her develop romantic feelings with either Chip or Dale. And in my personal opinion, I've always believed that if, she, if Disney was to have her choose somebody, if Tad Stones, the creator of the series, and the writers and all that, were to have her choose somebody, it would have been Dale. I really think that's, that's the case. I mean, yeah, you paired him off with Foxglove at the end of Good Times, Bad Times. That was carried over through, through fan fiction. Ian Brill, who was behind the uh, comics when they were revived by Boom Studios. Uh, obviously, he understood that. He paired Dale up with, with uh, Fox Club. So that's great and everything. But I always believed, from a cartoon standpoint, an animation standpoint, I always believed, from a cartoon, if not animation standpoint, that I think Disney would have gone with Dale. That's just my personal opinion. Would it have been a preference of mine back then, even to this day? In a sense, yeah, because you got similarities. Both the kind of uh, have the faults and the, have the faults at times, have the pros, have the negatives, very similar. And that might not be a match in heaven, if you will. And that's my dog, she just came back in. But anyway, that might not be a match in heaven in the eyes of some fans, but, but to me, I think that would have been the obvious choice. I really do. Unless Disney was planning to bring Fox Club back in and Tammy back in for the movie, there's no doubt in my mind they would have gone with Dale and Gadget. 